What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with a collection video, and this is my collection. You guys have been asking me about this for a while. You said, I want to see your binder collection. I showed it several months ago at this point, so it's definitely a lot different. So I think it's time. You guys voted on that poll where I voted, put the 15k special. It won, but second place was the collection binder. It was pretty high. I have two binders. One is most of the way full, and one is doesn't have that much in it, but it, it's all tournament pack stuff. So it's going to be pretty cool. Let's get into it. And by the way, this is my second time recording this because I definitely did not plug in my mic last time. So let's see if you guys enjoy it as much this time. But before, I'll just tempt you with this. The giveaway. These three cards. I actually pulled these two cards out of a mystery cube and I was just pulling out some legacy packs. I posted on my YouTube story. Make sure you guys are watching my YouTube stories. There's a lot of cool stuff on there and I kind of like them. The thing is, it's super weird. It doesn't let me reply to you guys like on the app. I get on there and you guys comment on my story and then I can't reply. It's super weird. I can heart it, but I can't reply. So if you guys know how to reply for some reason, let me know if I'm struggling with them. So yeah, all you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from the two binders, whichever one you like the most, or why, you know, whatever. We're gonna we're not gonna do anything crazy this time. Just like it, and then I'm gonna pick a random winner with a randomizer, and that guy wins. So yeah, sorry to all you guys who didn't win. I'm really sorry. But let's get into it. So here we go. As you can see, we've pulled a lot of these cards on the channel. We have Star Eater Seeker Rare. We pulled that. Two Ghost Rare Scarlights that we pulled both of those. We also pulled the Ultimate Rare and the Seeker Rare. We also pulled two of those, but I'm gonna gr I think I'm grading the other ones of these. Then we have the Ghost Rare Red Eyes Flare Metal and the Ulti and Secret that we got from the $4,000 collection. That was pretty insane. I'm definitely, like okay, last time, when I recorded it last time, which was, you know, two seconds ago, I kind of went through where where i got the cards from it was, it was kind of fun so here we go we got secret rare and then we got the dt and the ulti trishulas that's pretty awesome we got the bionic the dt bionic and the two hidden arsenal versions we've got the gun gear last time i said gugnir by accident so i'm glad that we didn't record that even though i just told you guys so i guess i just i just outed myself so dang it all right here we go let's keep going we have okay we got a ghost rare this one i actually got from old school expert like several months ago and it was like a lot cheaper at that point. Now it's super expensive, so I'm glad I have it. Uh, first edition, Red Dragon Arch Venus Assault Mode, so that's really cool. We got the Doom Kaiser Dragon Ultis, and now, guys, I actually remember the names of my cards because I did a trial run. So I was the first, I was like, what is the name of this card again? But I just did it, so I know. So we got the Ghost Rare Power Tool Dragon. This one is from Fiche. All right, yeah, we're back, we're back. Plug the phone in. All right, Power Tool Dragon, Ghost Rare. We got this from Fiche on Instagram. Pretty awesome. That was a while ago, but a beautiful card. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that card looks beautiful from this angle. We got the ulti that we pulled on video. That was awesome from the special edition with first edition packs. Then we got the ulti Red Dragon Archfiend, not first edition, but pretty insane from loose packs. That was cool. Odin Father of Aesir. I don't remember where I got that card from. This one I got from Old School Expert. Back then it was like four bucks. Now it's like 40. So that's crazy that that <laughs> that this card went from four bucks to 40 in a few months. And then uh, Junk Berserker, I pulled that one in a video. That was cool. We have Horus over here, Horus Black Flame Dragon, Ultimate Rare. Very difficult to find in first edition and unlimited as well, but we actually pulled this one and against Yugi Mo and two others like forever ago, we did this crazy big battle and uh, I pulled Arm Dragon level five Ultimate Rare. So that was pretty crazy. Speaking of Yugi Mo, yes guys, I know, I know he destroyed me. I watched the video. Anyone who watched that video knows that I was decimated. By the way, if you haven't watched that video that Yugi Mo Posted against me. You definitely need to watch it. I've never seen it happen before. Well, I have seen it happen before, but only from Haunted Mine, if you get my drift. So here we go. Arm Dragon, level 7. Let's continue on. No more promoing Yugi Mo. By the way, he's almost at 1,000 subs, so make sure you subscribe to him. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We have Ultimate Rare. This was from uh, Petty Party. I was about to say Peter, which is also his name. So I got this one and this one, the Cyber End Dragon Ultimate Rare. Both from him. Unlimited, but they look really, really awesome. We got the Hero Flash. That's pretty incredible. The Tempest I got from Slosht. I think I think it was from Slosht. Or was it from... I think it was from him. I can't remember. Yeah, he has YouTube, so check him out. Yeah, Elemental Hero, Wild Wingman, Ultimate Rare. One of these got a 6. One of these was the one that got a 6, and one we, we just pulled and didn't grade. Then we got the story about the Gemini Elf. I've already mentioned this today, but you guys didn't see it. Yeah, Gemini Elf, first edition. Was a 9... And I'm pretty sure, not going to lie, I don't say this very often, and I don't complain about this, 
But PSA, I think, did ding the corner on it, and it got a 9, which is a bummer, because I thought it was a 10, and now it's like an $800 card and 10. Yeah, so it was a bummer. But that's okay. So I cracked it out. I was going to put it in the, in the binder anyway, and then I damaged it more. I put, like, a pressure line on it trying to crack it out. So this card's just been through the ringer. It it still belongs in the binder. First edition, we pulled it on a video. It was pretty crazy. I had 24 packs of Pokey Rev. Yeah, so I'm, I'm shouting everybody out in this video. Here we go. Secret Rare. This one was pulled against Old School Expert. That was from one of you guys. You guys sold me the pack, so that was pretty cool. We got Portuguese Metal Raiders. Those were good times opening all those boxes. This is the infamous Chaos Emperor Dragon Ultra Rare that I pulled in 2018, and that I was like, wow, $30 card. Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually expensive, and I was like, maybe I'll like get back into it and see what's going on, and now I'm obviously back into it. Here we go. We got all kinds of crazy stuff like Chaos Emperor Dragon. We pulled that one in the video recently. You guys need to watch that. That was insane. Pulled both of these. This was in the, it was in a special. It was like the 9K special, I think we pulled this. Out of like one LOD pack or two. And then this one was out of the booster box. It was either 36 or 24 pack first edition. I've opened both of those on the channel. Go check those videos out. That was insane. Only like a year ago at this point when we opened those first edition boxes sealed. Phantom Darkness box, we pulled this. We also pulled uh, another card later in here, but the Goblin Zombie, for not first edition. That box would be insane first edition. Um, this one was Tactical Evolution. This was Enemy of Justice. Pulling all the Clock Towers, we finally pulled this Ultra Ulti, which was really hard. Here is the only product of our Glass 100-pack opening. Fortunately, it's like $200 now, according to TCG Player, so I'll take that. This was out of three random CDIP packs. That was insane. You guys remember our Rise of Destiny um, Special Edition? First Edition with five ultis. Well, here you go. There's the so three of them. It's pretty good. You guys remember when we opened Judgment of Light like every every single video and we pulled Susanoo every time? Well, there they are. Three of them. So we pulled three of those suckers and they just keep showing up. So there they are. We put them in a row. We give them some respect. Maybe they'll leave us alone now. Yeah, we got some more stuff that we pulled. We got the Cosmo Dark Destroyer. We got some Zen mains. We got the Ultimate Rare and the Secret Rares. Oh, that's Zen Master. Sorry. And then uh, number 34 for Ruxin 34. Somebody said that in the comments. Which was, I was like, I was hating on it. And they were like, that's 34. And I was like, dude, that's my name. And then my number. So it's like, why do I not like it? So now I like it. It's in the binder. Okay, Crystal Wing Synchro. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm recording way later than normal. Normally, I do this way earlier in the day. But I have to record a video. Because if I don't record now, you guys won't get a video. And then I, you'll be like, where's Ruxin? And I'll be like, I let you guys down. I didn't post a video. But speaking of that, I'm probably not going to post every single day. Like, it's, at some point, I'm going to stop posting every single day, and I'm going to post, like, five days a week, maybe. But then I'm, maybe I'll be like, I want to post more, and I haven't decided yet. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you made it eight minutes into the ramble, then let me know what you think about posting five days, three days, seven days, six days. What? How many days should I post? I know a lot of you guys like every day, but I know a lot of you guys don't watch every day. I know for a fact. So for you guys that don't watch every day, is it because I post too much? You don't have time? You know, whatever. Let me know. And, you know, maybe the quality of the video will go up, you know, if I have... Put more money into different videos. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. Continuing on. Number 17. We pulled this. Ultimate Rare. A Hero Lives. Pulled that. These two were from the 4K collection. We get into... We got some Pokemon. Yes. Iraqi Duelist is going to call me a simp. But here we go. The most beautiful Pokemon card in all of Pokemon. It's a Topps card. Ghost Rare Lugia. It's not actually a Ghost Rare, but it looks like one. Beautiful. If you've seen Rhyme Style, he's been trying to pull one recently. Hopefully he does. It's pretty cool. But this is a... This is one of my favorite cards in general. Not just Yu-Gi-Oh, not just Pokemon. I mean, it's obviously it's Pokemon, so not just Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, I love this card. This card I bought randomly, and it's super cheap, so I'm not just going to resell it because it's, you don't make anything. So it looks really cool, so I'm just going to keep it in here. We pulled both of these collector's rares. See back there, the uh, Valkyrie and the Chaos Creator. This one was on my own, and this one was with Vintage. This one, I pulled this uh, test print out of the Jinzo 10 out of the 6K special. That was crazy. It's crazy that that was the 6K special. That seems like it was just yesterday. I bought this one. These were from the 10K special. These super rares from WC11. By the way, if you have uh, WC11 packs, hit me up. And there is another test print. We got some secret rares from the 10s. This one, I didn't open that 10. I just got it at some point. I don't remember. Gladiator's Assault Special Edition. You guys remember opening those. Much better than our loose packs with Gladiator's Assault. Those are rough. Here are more secret rares that we pulled. We did pull this Ghost Ogre from Cross Souls out of one booster box, and that card's super expensive now. It's like 100 bucks, maybe a little bit less now, but it was over 100 It was like 120 at one point. This one was gifted by one of you guys when I bought something from him, so that was cool. Free Secret Rare. I will always take that. That's really cool. Here is Yap, the anniversary pack we opened in the 10K. Super expensive pack. It's like $400 now. It's crazy. We got some Ghost Rares from our Haunted Mine where we pulled all those gores. We got five Chaos Emperor Dragons of Armageddon. By the way... 
Speaking of Armageddon, I know some of you guys were like, you shouldn't open more Armageddon because you already opened some. One guy said, open newer stuff, and I was like, the only thing newer than Armageddon is Rise of the Duelist. <laughs> and I was like, and I've already pulled the two biggest cards, and I'm really not interested in anything in Rise of the Duelist except the Starlights, and I've already pulled two of them. So it's kind of like buying into it at this point. I think I'm kind of done with Rise of the Duelist. I'm just going to wait for Raw to come out, and we're going to try and pull that Ghost Rare. So that's going to be pretty cool. We've got a couple Firewalls. Here's some more L from the LOD boxes I opened. Um, we got some more reprints here. We got Portuguese, pretty cool. DT Crows. We've got uh, Black Oster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, the repetitive soldier. We got Double Draco Sack. We got a play set of Body of My Shield. Some random stuff like Blue Eyes Dual Terminal, pretty cool. I bought, bought that a while back from um, Dylan, I think, on Instagram. We got some Gen X Undines. Ultimate Rares. Uh, from chalices we pulled this in the 10k we didn't pull this but that's a really epic ultimate rare cover card this was the worst soul of the duels box of all time the uh the uniboob right there that's what i call her and then the greed and then we got some tactical evolution ultimate rares more stuff from the 4k the uh, mermails we got blackwing we pulled more mermail this is from our phantom darkness box so go check that video out that was really cool vampire's curse that is one of my favorite looking cards just look at that card that is sweet and then we got more Crossroads of Chaos. We pulled some of this stuff way up a while back. Blackwing. That was from our Shining Darkness box, wasn't it? Yeah, that was forever ago. This was also a gift. Ultimate Rare. So that was super cool. Um, we got, obviously, Premium Pack and Dark Mag or Black Magician of Black Chaos. I always get them mixed up because their names are very similar. They're just like reverse, like Yoda. It was very weird. But super cheap card. Really awesome, though. So really cool. Some more. Um, we got Dark Beginning stuff. Yeah. And some random stuff here, like our Portuguese Gaia that we pulled from a first ed Portuguese box. We got um, some other stuff, some cool stuff. Ultimate Rares. Here's more stuff from the 4K, the Mermails. I'm not super attached to those. They're just kind of expensive, so I put them in there. Um, Crush Card Virus, that's cool. The Ghost Rare uh, Barkian. Ghost Rare Bujan that we got out of a recent collection with two ultis. And number 39, Utopia Ray Victory. That is the cover card from Judge of the Light. We pulled that. So that's the end of that binder. Pretty cool stuff in there. Still a few pages we could fill out. But yeah, we're going to go into the next binder and show you guys my tournament pack stuff. All right, this one is tournament pack. And it's all tournament pack through OTS stuff. So there's some pretty crazy stuff. Like, you guys see that faded TP1 mech chaser. I graded it, it got a 7, which I thought was pretty harsh. for Because it's in really nice shape. It has a little spot, which kind of, I think, took off all the... All the, uh... What do you call it? The grade. Yeah, and then the uh, Axe Raider back here is like mod play. Most of it's near mint though. Like these are near mint. This I pulled myself in a recent video. Not that recent, but TP1 pack. Rare. So rare is better than no rare, which is pretty cool. You can get no rares. So it's near mint. It has a little bit of a ding. Called by the grave. We got the Needle Worm. That guy's in like light play, very light play, maybe near mint. And then we got our other TP3 Chaser. I bought this B Skull. I don't remember where I got that from. Um, the T the morphing jar we pulled yesterday. Make sure you check that one out. That video is insane. We pulled a TP4 morphing jar. It's in really good gear mint to mint shape. I bought this one from Vins on IG. Uh, we pulled two of these. One was pulled by Tim. Maybe we pulled two ourselves. I can't really remember, honestly. We got uh, this one was pulled with Gezi when we opened those 60 packs of TP4, which I shared in the last video. But if you guys haven't seen it, check that out. It was a long time ago. has no views on it. So maybe maybe you'll see some content you haven't seen from me before. A lot of you guys say you've watched all my videos. And I know for a fact you have not watched them all. Because there is some random ones you guys have not seen. We pulled one of these uh, Needleworms. It's pretty cool. Uh, Fiend Mega Cyber is actually not in good shape. But I bought it because I didn't have it. Uh, Toon Table of Contents. I'm actually getting some TP6 packs. So hopefully we'll pull more of those. Fusion Sage. Got Double Restructure Revolution. Warrior of Elimination. Warrior of Elimination. Double Luminous Soldier. Uh, Breaker's pretty expensive, uh, Dunamis is very expensive, TP8 is just crazy expensive in general, like almost every card with Harvey's Feather Duster and the, the Ultra. Magical Arm Shield is not that expensive, but it's pretty rare in 10, there's only 6 of them. Here's our Champion Pack 2 stuff, we did pull 2 Magician of Fate, there's one, there's one as a PSA 10. Um, we got this as um, Unlimited, not Unlimited, sorry, Near Mint, and then another, we got a PSA 9, we didn't get the 10. Here's the CPO3 we opened at the 15k special just recently. We pulled that damaged Gravekeeper, which was really sad. Um, then we have CPO4. I did pull four of these stinking Hydra Gedons, which is painful. One is being graded. I graded one of the uh, Apprentice Magicians. One I sold, I think. And then here's the Ultra Gurnia. Card's worth almost nothing. Unfortunately, not gradable. Here's our CPO5 we just opened like yesterday or wherever that was. Was that yesterday? Yeah, it was. 
So we pulled some really cool cards out of there. None of those are really grade worthy, so they're going in here. Here's our turbo pack. Literally two cards from turbo pack in here. That's all I have. Then we go to Astro Pack. I got this stuff from the 4K collection. We got Astro Pack 6. Two of these Astro Pack 7. One of these I did pull. We got Dark uh, Dark Law. Pulled that. We pulled. The, we didn't pull the Raigeki or the Swap Frogs or the Instant Fusions. All those were from the 4K collection. A lot of this was from the 4K collection. We pulled these, these. We pulled all six of these cards, actually. All that. Scapegoats, Stratos. We graded one of those Stratos. This one has a ding on the side, so I couldn't. But uh, Shizuki's, we pulled both of those. We pulled both the Desires. We pulled five, no, four of these OTS 12 cards. One of these was in the collection. We pulled this Bountiful Artemis yesterday. And then we have two more Book of Moons. One we did pull, uh, yeah, we pulled one of these Book of Moons against yu gi -Oh! But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. That was pretty, pretty awesome. I'm going to try and total up the whole value. And it's probably worth too much. If you guys want to buy it for 100K, just let me know. 100K, yeah. That's my price, so yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh, can't get you. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh. <laughs>